good happy Tuesday evening, November 17, 2020. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Tuesday evening, so let's begin. First up, we begin with COVID-19 updates. Let's take a look at your coronavirus in New Hampshire key information and data. Let's take a look at that right now for all of you. And here is a look at that information for all of you right now. There are 15,029 number of people in New Hampshire have tested positive for COVID-19. 11 million, 172, 779 number of people in the United States have tested positive. 500 number of deaths from COVID-19 in New Hampshire. 817 number of people have been hospitalized with COVID-19 in New Hampshire. And 247, 0, 19 number of deaths from COVID-19 in the United States. Now let's take a look at this map of New Hampshire where current cases of COVID-19 are. In Manchester, 378. Let's take a look at this map of New Hampshire where total cases of COVID-19 are. Manchester, 2867. And now let's take a look at these three charts here. Let's start with the first chart here. New cases each day in New Hampshire. The purple daily new positive COVID-19 cases. And the orange new hospitalization and red death. Let's take a look at this chart here. Current cases in the purple. Total current COVID-19 cases. And in the orange current hospitalization. Let's take a look at this chart here. Total cases in the purple, total positive COVID-19 cases, orange, total hospitalization, red deaths, and blue recovered. Let's take a look at this chart here. Positive PCR test rate and daily PCR test. Let's take a look at this chart here. Age group of cases, female and male of cases, and risk information. Let's take a look at this chart here. Infections, hospitalizations, and death. And let's take a look at this chart here. Deaths, percent of New Hampshire population, race slash ethnicity of cases, and hospitalizations. And your common symptoms. Fever, lack of smell, cough, chills, difficult breathing, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. How it spreads and prevention tips. And be sure to stay with the Riley King Network for the latest of your COVID-19 information. Health officials warn of a possible COVID-19 exposure at Wolfboro Church in Salem Casino. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Other people exposed 
to can't be identified. COVID-19 cases have increased dramatically in New Hampshire over the past few weeks. Officials have been urging Granite Staters to continue to take precautions, including wearing face masks and avoiding indoor gatherings. The warnings come as people are preparing for holidays that typically involve getting together with family, but health officials are urging people to keep gathering small and ideally limit them to people in the same household. And that is it for this afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon and see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And we have an update to a story that we brought you yesterday. Um, the situation with the homeless shelter in Hillsborough County Courthouse remains with plenty of activists on the ground with signs pointing to passing cars. However, as you can see, they are le less tense as more people go look for new places to live. And that was Jimmy James reporting live from Veterans Park in Manchester. Take a look. And this is a photo that he took as you can all see. And thank you for Jimmy James for reporting on that situation. Police investigating after vehicle fired upon in Manchester. No one hurt in shooting, police say. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Winter comes, your old car has got to go because Auto North. Back on Manchester police are looking for information about the person who opened fire on a vehicle around 1 a.m. It happened near Central and Beach Streets. Investigators say the vehicle that was hit by the bullets crashed after the shooting. The people inside were not hurt. The person who fired drove away before officers arrived. Police would like to hear from anyone who has information. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. State Superior Court advised New Hampshire House that remote sessions are constitutional. Court, in a 4 to 0 opinion, says lawmakers can set their own rules defining presence of a quorum. The state Supreme Court, in a 4-0 opinion Tuesday, said it is not unconstitutional for the 400-member New Hampshire House to hold session remotely as long as a quorum can be confirmed electronically. The court answered a question posted by the House in September to address a database that had been participated by the COVID-19 pandemic. New Hampshire unemployment rate drops to 4.2%. New Hampshire's unemployment rate for October was 4.2, a 1.6 decrease from September, officials said Tuesday. And take a look at this. Governor Chris Sununu was at the Manchester Mall of New Hampshire today. Take a look. He went to the Mall of New Hampshire today to kick off the Marines Toys for Tots Foundation. And it may look different this year, but every child should still have the opportunity to open presents on Christmas. Glad I could do my part today kicking off the Toys for Tots program at the Mall of New Hampshire, as you can see in these photos here.
Good job, Governor Chris Sununu. Also, today in Concord, New Hampshire, the Concord General Service crew, um, the crew put up, brought the Christmas tree and set up Christmas decorations on the light posts. As you can all see, they brought over the Christmas tree today. Christmas tree officially in its place, and they also put wreaths up on the light post throughout the city of Concord today as well. Cool, cool, cool. And the Concord Christmas tree lighting is on the day after Thanksgiving, and that would be on November 27th this year. Hate crimes in U.S reach highest level in more than a decade, FBI says. Let's take a listen to that video from the AP. Before winter comes, your old car has got to go because Auto North has... Someone tried to take away our hope. And here we are. We still see the support of uh, so many people when he does get to that age, we can tell him if something horrible and happened to your mom and dad, but you know, we're still here and Jorge Calvillo Garcia. I'm not really believing it's been a year. It's been so dreamlike. Uh, but now slowly it's like the dream like qualities fading and it's becoming more real. We're gonna get together, have a small dinner in memory of him with his favorite, his, his steak. I think it's built into our DNA that we're going we're gonna to survive regardless. But it's still painful. It was, a, it was a, an attack on who we are. Okay, and there you go on that video. And that was from the Associated Press. We can also tell you the FBI says hate crimes in the U.S. rose to its highest level in more than a decade as federal officials also recorded the highest number of hate-motivated killings since the FBI began collecting that data in the early 1990s, according to the FBI report released on Monday. And that does it for this evening edition of the Riley King Newscast. Right here on the Riley King Network, I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday evening. I'll see you back here tomorrow for another newscast. I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Good night and goodbye, everyone.